Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dean Zoran, and if you can read the description, as most people can, you will know that today I am going to be showing you a tutorial and a review of Code Themed. Code Theme is basically a website that creates iTouch themes, iPhone themes, and iPad themes, thanks to jailbreaking, thanks to Winterboard, and thanks to SSHing, if you would like to use that process. I'm basically at CodeTheme.com. I'll have the link in the description, and as I just said recently, SSHing, thanks to SSHing, well, if you do not want to pay money, and well, you do not want to wait to put your theme on Cydia, <clears throat> there's always SSHing. So I will have a video on how to SSH in the description, and probably somewhere in the top right corner, so that it does not obstruct your view. So I'm going to just scroll down now. And what you see is an iPod Touch first generation. Not second generation, but first generation. That surprised me a little. But I think that's original because, like VNC, they show uh, an iPhone. These guys are the first. Uh, I, I don't want to call this an emulator. I don't want to call this like a viewer, but it, it's extremely close to actually viewing an actual iTouch. Even though the applications don't actually work, the slider, very responsive. You slide to unlock. You have applications. You can go to the next page if you have next page. So I'm going to start off with uh, the applications. So uh, obviously in, in uh, themes, most themes, if not all, have something that changes the way your applications look. Well, this is how you do it. This is obviously not the way some people did it, because they probably may have made themes three years ago, and, uh, well, not three years ago, but maybe a year ago, before uh, Code Theme came out, and they used something else. Well, this is, I think, a lot easier, so you click on music. Say you want to change the look of your music icon. You have nine choices right now. Say I like this icon and not this boring, dreary one, okay? So I'll just take it and then drag it right here and they swap. Now my music icon is different. And I can always change that. Say I don't want that, I can change it to classic iPod look. And then I just go back and I, it show, I have choices for music, video, safari, app store, mail, Calendar, photos, contacts, YouTube, stocks, maps, weather, voice memos, notes, clock, calculator settings, iTunes, and Cydia. So that's basically it for the applications. Then what you have next is walls, meaning your lock screen, your home screen, and any other screen that allows you to unlock or it's in the background. Okay, so they give you presets. They're pretty good, not the best, and uh, as the internet develops, you have more and more ways of getting really cool images, so you can just go on Google, download some images, and then upload them, and then uh, here I found a cool image, and I could set that as a background, so I'll uh, set it as a home screen or a lock screen. I'll set it as a home screen. Now my home screen is this. Very cool. And then once you save it, that is exactly what your home screen will look like. So that's it for the walls. Now let's go into the extras. In extra, you have icon, slider, and more. I'll get into, uh, uh, I'll work my, down, my way down from icons to more left to right. In icons, you have transparency for icons. You have undocked app labels on or off. Uh, you have your font, which is automatically set on Helvetica. And then you have your color, then docked app labels on, automatically set for Helvetica font. And then uh, the color is the same here. Uh, then I'll go uh, one icon to the right for slider. In slider, you have a pretty basic, boring slider. And you have three sliders for power off, call me, and lock device. I'll go over the one that mostly everybody sees every single day. That's slide to unlock. So uh, 
I'm just going to go and click the slider button. Browse through theirs or upload your own. Yes, I can upload my own. Does it look the best? No, because it's not like rounded off and stuff. I, I, I like using theirs. So, it's unlock. So, traditional unlock look has an arrow. So, you're probably going to 9 times out of 10 put an arrow here, not like a phone or like this. So then that's, you just have that slider there. Works. Now you want to change Call Me. They have like specific sliders for every lock screen. Call Me, you would probably put a phone on there. So you put a phone there. Slide to unlock, it works. For power off, you would probably also want it besides that boring red. So what you can do is get this cool red slider or this uh, stylish red looking thingy. I don't even know what that is. And you can load a lot more, then load a lot more again. You don't have a lot more choices. So that's basically it for the icons. But there's also one other thing that a lot of people want. It is slide to unlock slider text. You can choose what you want it to say. Instead of slide to unlock, slide to power off, and slide to answer, you can say, okay, be afraid. I just felt like saying that. Don't ask why. Okay, now I click back, so that was uh, the slide to unlock, so I'll just unlock this, no, I'll click cancel, I don't want to shut this off, and then I'll just scroll up and I'll click lock device, and instead of saying slide to unlock, it says be afraid, so that's basically how the slider text works, and that's very nice and dandy, and whatever you want to say. Okay, so then you have to click Save Changes. I'll call it Theme Theme One. Caps Lock is on, but I don't care. Okay. I'll click Save Theme. It's just going to uh, Change, uh, save it, and then save changes again, then download theme. And as building my theme, it will only take a moment, and trust me, it only takes a moment. And then you have options. Everybody loves options. Okay, download. Download, basically you just download the file and you SSH it into your iTouch, or iPhone, or iPad. And this is, out of these three choices, Send to iPod, Submit Cydia, and Download. This is the hardest one. Send to iPod is the easiest one. All you have to do is pay money and then uh, download the code-themed app from Cydia. And then it will automatically send it to your iTouch. That's the easiest one. And then Submit to Cydia. It's not as hard as Download. It's not as easy as Send to iPod. So it's somewhere in that middle category. Because you just put it on their repository and then it is on there and you can just download it. So that's uh, something not the best, but not the worst. This is the worst, this is the best. Although some people may prefer it because it actually is faster putting a direct link with an iPod. And then you can just share it with Twitter, Facebook, Dig, email, and that is it. Also something that I wanted to point out is you could browse other themes. For example, you want to browse Android theme as a popular one. Okay, say so you find an Android theme. Okay, say so I select this one. Okay, so slide to unlock. Then uh, you could actually download it, send to iPod, and favorite. Downloading is the same thing as downloading your own theme. Send to iPod is the same thing as, as uh, saving it to your iPod from your own theme. And then favoring it, you just, uh, after you make an account, it just saves it to your personal favorites. And that is it for Code Theme. This has been a review and a tutorial on how to use Code Themes right there. And I hope you guys like this video. And uh, I hope you go to this link because it's great and you should definitely use it. So, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.